Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, thank you for being here. So on today's video, what we're doing is we're going to be working on this wolf cut bob again, but we're going to be taking it to a mullet. So I did say a pixie, the pixie's going to be after. What I've basically done with this whole series is taken hair from down here, and then layers, and then shorter, and then texture, and then shorter, and then added haircuts in between, to, until we get to a pixie cut. So I've already got, you can see there, We've already got the baby bangs, the micro fringe. We put wolf cut sort of shag layers over the top last time. So you can see we've got all that texture that's all built in there. And I'm doing it all with ponytails because I basically want to show you the simplest way to understand hair cutting is where we section to and cut from creates an overall look. Obviously in salon, we'll be doing something a bit different. We'd be sectioning, the hair would be wet and everything in between. But I'm going to do a salon series straight after this. So once I've done the pixie, we're going to go straight back to long hair and we're going to work from long all the way to a pixie, but as we would do in a salon. So you can check what we do with ponytail to make it very visual and instant. And then you can check back and check the salon version to see how to actually take it from where you are to the salon floor. So let's get into it. So what I want to be doing today is obviously mullets. This has got loads of product in, by the way. And like another video, this is what I do on, on regular clients in the salon. They, they, will, they will back me up. You can check my Google reviews. They can say I, I detangle with the smallest of combs and I just rake it through. So um, yeah, absolutely love it. Right, so we've just detangled slightly. We've got that short fringe anyway. So that plays really well into a mullet because we could have it a little bit longer, but mullets are normally shorter through here and then longer towards the back. So we've got the length there. What we want to be able to do with these bands, all right, chill out, is we want to basically put a couple here, maybe one here, and then one at the back. Because what we want to do is where we position these, these sections or, or ponytails is they're going to give us a reference point for how we're going to maintain length or remove length. So if I was to put a bobble or a ponytail right at this front here and cut that off, this is all going to be really short and it's going to travel back longer, which is like a mullet. So that's something we're going to do. How are we going to incorporate this top? We could put a bobble through here. So we elevate this section through here. We take that up there. We've got a section maybe pushed forward just there, there, and there. And then the one at the back, I can imagine we want to keep that length, but we want to re remove a lot of this bulk. So how could we do that? We could elevate all of that up into a ponytail. So we're left with this here. This will be gone because it'll be at the front. All of that will be gone because we're going to cut there. And then as it drops down, it goes shorter into longer, creating a mullet. So I'm going to get into the section pattern. We're going to draw me back when we start cutting hair. So here's the section pattern. We've got two ponytails on the side of the head pushed right forward. So you can see they're sitting right there. So it's going to be shorter at the front, longer at the back because that hair is pushed forward, over directed forward. We cut it off, it ends up shorter into longer, creating that mullet blend. We've got a box shape on top here, which is recession, recession, and then taken just to that high point of the head coming straight across there where these two sides meet, which allows us to open up this back. These aren't going to really meet, uh, um, pull up because they're too short. You can see that length in here, that's the actual length of the, of the mannequin's hair. So I know if I cut that, say to there, I'm not going to lose length. I'm just going to lose all of that bulk that's in there. So on the salon version of this, I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. But this is just going to be a really impactful way that you can be like, right, them short bits there are the fringe. So I've got a guide. So if I can cut that across there, I know I'm going to be taking really short. But because these are over directed into that middle of that top ponytail, we're going to end up with, with disconnection length through here, which would be cool because it's going to be shorter into longer. So all of this haircut is going to where these ponytails or sections are placed, are all placed where they are, because that is where I would potentially section my haircut to in the salon if I was wanting to create something very, very similar. So let's get into the haircut. Let's get the scissors. Now, I want these sides to be short here because I want there to be, where that fringe is short, I want there to be pieces coming around about here. So I know if I just cut that off like that and take all this off, 
Remember, after this, we're doing a pixie cut, so it's going to blend itself very well. And again, we just spin her round, and then I take this out and I cut straight across there. When we're looking at the top here, I'm looking at these pieces here because that's actually the fringe. So if I just elevate and pull forward, see those pieces that are dropping out? I know if I cut those off, we've got connection there. To soften off, we can just really, really point cut. We want this to be really textured. This isn't a haircut we would necessarily do in the salon this way, like I say, but these are all techniques that I use to sort of have a bit of a, a better understanding or show people a better understanding of, of how haircuts can, can evolve and how they can create or where you section two sort of like transformative. So knowing that that section sitting there and I cut it, I know what I'm going to end up with because I know where that section sitting. Same with the sides and then same with this back. So there's the length there. So I know if I was to pull this up, I'd maintain more length. If I just pull that back, I know from where those pieces are starting to drop out, like so. I know we're going to remove a lot of that bulk in there and create the mullet type of look. So again, I'm just going to really point cut. We just want to add loads and loads of softness and texture into this haircut. So we're just doing that, yeah? Just really breaking up these ponytails so we don't get hard lines because in the salon we'd either point cut, we would, um, it would be cut in much, much finer sections so we, we wouldn't end up with hard lines or anything. But when we do a ponytail, it's just so much easier to show you really impactful. So we pull that out. Look at how short that is now. And then gets longer. So we're ending up with all that, that bulk that I was talking about in here earlier disappearing. But like I said, we'd probably want to be taking some of this, this length away in here if we really want to refine it. We could do that, but I'm going to jump straight into the pixie cut after this. I'm basically just showing you where to section to and from to create a mullet type haircut. Next one, pull that out. So now you should be able to see it's shorter at that front. Next through there. So we've got that mullet type haircut already happening through there. Other side, pull that out. And again, just connects there to there to there. We've got these short pieces here that I wanted to connect the, with the fringe. So there, like that. We'll take this top ponytail out. Oh, that's what we're going to do. Let's do a little shake. Straighten up. Come on. And then we have a mullet. Bit of hair in my mouth. But look, all that. We've removed all of that weight and, and length on that top. And it completely blends through like that. I've got hair all over me today. But look at that. So that is how we would just create a mullet type haircut. Salon again, we'd probably start at the front and then over direct everything to the front, which is what we did with the ponytail. Everything was pushed to the front to create this shortness and everything through there. And then it was all pushed forward from the back. So we maintained that length. But I'm looking forward to bringing you like the salon versions because they're gonna be much more refined and much more um, in, in depth, I suppose, when it comes to cutting hair. And I'm also going to do a colour one as well, showing you really sort of easy, quick ways to, to create colours and colour techniques in hair also. So, yeah, look, let's just open this all up, see what we've actually created. But I know on my last mullet ponytail video, people were absolutely loving it. So I thought I'd just bring you, while we've gone from really long hair to short pixie, one in between, I thought I'd just bring you a mullet. But look, you see the disconnection? So you've got this shortness all under here. This is all falling over. Reason for that, that hair was pushed over to the middle, cut short. So we've got these shortness, but then where this is, created that length and just came over, but makes like a bit more of like a visual connection, but it is disconnected. So we could even disconnect that further if we wanted to. But I quite like how it creates that, that you, you remove the bulk from underneath. So it's, the hair sits flatter and you've got this this free flowing texture over the top but she's gone through a hell of a transformation could you imagine if a client did this right i've got really long hair 
And every week, I want to go shorter, shorter, and shorter. It'd be pretty cool, to be honest. I think uh, I think a hairdresser did that for a collection once. Can't remember who it was. But yeah, that is it. I hope this has been very helpful and informative and understanding where to take hair to to create shortness and keep length. And until next time, if you are new, please hit the subscribe button, like the videos, comment down below, let me know what you think to it. Are you going to try it? And if you are thinking of joining the community, click the join button down below. And this has been The Mullet, and I'll see you on the next video.